Guys, I really wish people would wake up and understand what controlled opposition is because we know they use controlled opposition. We know that this has been a modus operandi of what they do to operate within the propagandizing of the masses since World War II. We know this is a strategy that they actually use, but nobody seems to actually identify who these controlled opposition shills are. So I ask you, if you consider yourself to be awake and there are people out there right now who have a very large platform and are very popular and seem to be on our side, some of them have to be controlled opposition because we know, as I said, that this is a strategy that they use. So please tell me who you believe controlled opposition is. Who are these controlled opposition shills? Because I see the majority of people who consider themselves to be awake following people like Tommy Robertson, large channels who are pushing Tommy Robinson, and I'm talking channels with over 150,000 subscribers. I'm seeing people who listen to Russell Brand, who now claims to be a born again Christian. Okay. People who listen to Joe Rogan, Alex Jones. You know, I can continue running this list, okay, of all of these commentators who claim to be on our side. But can you guys tell me which one of them are the controlled opposition shills? Because none of you who claim to be awake seem to actually comment under any of the videos that these people are controlled opposition. You all believe them. You all continue to support them. Even though, as I said, some of them have to be controlled opposition. So if they are controlled opposition, to actually be successful in fooling the public into believing that they are on their side, they'd have to have a really good act, wouldn't they? I mean, it's no good being controlled opposition if you're not very good at acting like you're on the side of the people. So of course they tell us what we want to hear. They act like they're on our side. They do things to make us believe they're on our side. But again, guys, there has to be a percentage of large platforms who appear to be on our side. These alternative media YouTubers, these alternative media commentators, these people who are in politics but claim that they're for the people and speaking for the people and on our side. You sometimes see them stand up and say something at the UN and everyone's like, this woman absolutely gets what's going on or this guy absolutely gets what's going on. But I never ever see any of you identifying that some of these people have to be controlled opposition. Now, if you've just woken up in the last couple of years because of the COVID shit show, and you don't understand what controlled opposition is, I suggest you go and do some research into controlled opposition. Because you know, when you wake up to the fact that there is something very wrong with our society, very wrong with our government, very wrong with how our countries are being governed, then you don't just continue to click on people's videos and listen to them tell you what to believe. You actually have to go and do your own due diligence. And this means going and researching independent sources of information and trying to get to the heart of the truth. I don't see many people do that. In fact, I see very, very few people take that path of actually researching for themselves. The majority just follow the herd and then they just cling on to people that they like the way they sound. They sound like somebody who knows what they're talking about. 
They're speaking for me. They're saying what I want to say, but I don't have a huge platform. They're saying what I think should be done in politics. But rarely do the majority of people actually go and do any independent research for themselves. So really, people who claim to be awake but don't actually go do any of their own independent research, and I'm not talking about just going and listening to other channels. I'm talking about actually going and researching into who finances these people, who these people are friendly with, you know, where these people have originated, you know, all of this information that you don't usually find on these large alternative media channels that are telling you what to think. And so what you're really actually doing is just still engaging in hive mind, herd-like mentality. If you want to be awake, you have to work the hermit's path. You have to be an independent researcher and you don't trust anybody. You don't even trust me. You trust nobody. You question every single person and their motivation for giving you the information that they're giving you. And when you do that, you will start to identify who the controlled opposition shills are. Like this dude, Tommy Robinson, who is a controlled opposition shill. This was nothing but a clown show. This was completely orchestrated by them to flush out any dissenters. And we have confirmation of this because Elon Musk has now entered the chat. So he's now saying, or oh, what did he do that was considered terrorism? Again, this is about inciting and provoking more hate, more resentment, and more division in the British people. And if you don't think that they've got facial recognition technology being utilized at these marches, then you really are asleep. You may as well go and join the flock of sheeps that you all ridicule because you're really no different to them. They are basically flushing out all of the dissenters. And if Tommy Robinson, controlled opposition shill Tommy Robinson, has just been supposedly arrested under the Terrorism Act, then what does that say to all his supporters? What does that say about what they think about all of his supporters who were cheering him on? So you need to think about that before you get encouraged and influenced by these people into joining these marches. Because all they're doing is flushing you out and putting you on their radar and you are achieving nothing. Nothing was achieved by this march. The British politicians aren't suddenly not evil anymore. The British politicians haven't suddenly changed their mind and decided to deport all of these immigrants, these illegal immigrants, these young men who they've imported into the country and they're housing in four star hotels that British people are not allowed to enter because they're literally being guarded. So who knows what's actually going on in these hotels, on the grounds of these hotels. But I know one thing for sure, and that is that none of this is for our benefit. And there will be a time we find out why they imported all of these young men into Western countries, because it's happening everywhere. Not just the UK, it's happening in Ireland, it's happening in Canada, it's happening in the US, it's happening in Australia, and it's happening in the Nordic countries over in Europe. So there's an agenda here to infiltrate and destroy us. And unfortunately, because people aren't really awake, because they don't really want the truth, they just want the truth that other people are telling them, they haven't actually researched who the real enemy of humanity is and why this is all happening. And until people actually get real and want to actually understand why there is a war on humanity and why this is happening to the West, 
then you are just going to be a victim like the rest of the sheeps who are fast asleep. So I don't even know why you bother being awake when you're just going to be taken out by the blind side like they are. Because you don't even know who your real enemy are. Your real enemy are not these illegal immigrants. They are just being weaponized. Your real enemy resides on the papal throne and has resided on the papal throne for centuries and has infiltrated every single section of our society over hundreds of years to the point where they now control everything from the background. But see, this sounds too far-fetched for people. People can't process this. And that's because you're still asleep. And it's unfortunate because most of you will continue sleepwalking to your demise because you just can't fathom the level of evil that you're dealing with. It's over for us in the West. All you can do now is prepare your mind, your soul, and to some extent, your body for what's approaching because it's approaching and nothing is going to stop it. Not these stupid marches that change nothing, that do nothing, but put you on their radar. And it is no coincidence that everything seems to be escalating now, that these marches are being planned in the UK at this time, that over in Ireland, these people are now being basically incited and provoked into fighting back against their politicians, okay, in the town of Kulok. I would not be surprised if these people here are agent provocateurs because there has been a protest for months out the front of this immigration centre that they're trying to build that was a former paint factory. There have been Irish people that have been sitting out the front of this old paint factory and silently protesting this. And basically they have this ongoing roster where they all do shifts and they basically are pushing back against it. And only a week or so ago did it start getting violent when these young men who have not been identified started throwing rocks at the Garda, at the police. And then that is what incited the rest of the violence. And that is what is provoking more violence in Ireland now and getting more and more of the Irish all riled up and very, very angry. Again, this is not coincidental that this is all happening now for a reason, that what happened to Trump, the circus show of an assassination attempt that happened to Trump was completely staged. It was a false flag completely staged by them. And if you buy the Circus Act and you really do believe that the Democrats would be so stupid to use an amateur to try and take out Trump with the risk of not succeeding and making him more popular, then you really are fast asleep and I feel sorry for you. Now, I don't know how much longer I have on YouTube. I've had three 24-hour bans in the last week. On one of those occasions, they have basically threatened to take down my channel. So I am on borrowed time. And even though I am trying to be careful, it is obviously not enough because they're still finding a way to basically warn me that my channel is at risk. Now, I am posting every day on my forum. I will leave a link underneath this video, and I do have a category about the controlled demolition of Western society. So if you want to see these posts, you are welcome to join my forum. But other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it here. And I just hope that you guys are smart enough to start identifying who these controlled opposition shills are and all of their false flags because they're only going to keep escalating. We'll take care out there, guys. And as always, peace out.